so yummy make sure you try this recipe it's very very good this vegetable fish roux i'll go ahead and put in my chopped onion spring onion and green pepper chopped carrots Then my red chili pepper. Then this is my fish. I've already parboiled it and I removed this bone on it. Then I'll be adding half seasoning cube. Just half. You can as well add one depending on the quantity you are making because the fish has already been seasoned while are boiling. Little quantity of salt for taste. This is not the normal fish roll, this is vegetable fish roll. Okay. So guys, after stirring for about three minutes, it's done because we're gonna we're still going to fry the fish roll. So I will keep it aside. Then the next step will be to prepare the dough for the fish roll. After preparing the filling on a clean bowl, go ahead and sift in three cups of all-purpose flour. Then I'll go ahead and pour in my powdered milk. You can use liquid one as well. This is one teaspoon of baking powder, little quantity of yeast and salt. Very important, you add salt to taste. Blend with the sugar. Now add 83 ml of sugar, butter, adding my butter. I will mix everything to combine. I will still go with my hand to mix because of the but because of the butter. But if you are using liquid butter, no problem. Just to make sure that everything is thoroughly mixed, okay? Then I'll open up the inside and crack in one egg. At this point, I will then be adding my water bit by bit. So at this point, the dough is okay. The consistency of the dough is okay. So I'll go ahead and roll it more. So 
So at this point, I will cover it and allow it to rest for a while. But then I will add oil by the two sides to avoid making it to be sticky. So I will cover it up and allow it to rest for about 15 minutes. Then I'll come back to roll the dough before I'll add in my fillings. Now after 15 minutes, I'll open up the dough. You can see it's now soft than before. So I'll transfer it to my working surface. I'll sprinkle my floor on the working surface. Then I'll roll the dough until it's finely mixed. Now go ahead and divide the dough into smaller into smaller shapes then i'll roll out the dough with my hand roller i'll continue rolling until Everything is flat the way I want it. So after rolling with my knife, I'll go ahead and cut out a triangle shape. With my spoon, I have to put the filling, then roll it out. I will continue this process until everything is thoroughly rolled out as fish roll. So guys, if you have not subscribed, kindly pause and subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. For my new subscribers, thank you very much. So I'll repeat the process. Continue rolling and cutting out any shape you want. The first one was triangle, but this one is a round shape. Just round shape. I'll go ahead and put my filling on it. I'll put in my filling on the dough, then roll it. Always close up the edges with your hand. You can see the way I'm holding it. You can see how I'm, I'm just pinching it up. Then I'll flatten it to make sure that it sticks together.
So you just have to continue rolling until everything is complete. So the next step is the frying stage. Make sure the oil is not too hot. The heat should be on a medium heat. Just go ahead and put in your donut. But you need to continue stirring. Continue turning it so that it won't get burnt. can see how the vegetable fish roe is. It looks so delicious. So yummy. Make sure you try this recipe. It's very, very good. This vegetable fish roe. Very, very good. Not like the normal fish roe that I did before. You can see. So immediately you notice that everything is go is golden brown. You can see it's already golden brown. So I'll go ahead and remove it from the heat. So guys, you can see how it looks so yummy, so delicious, you can see. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends and bye until I see my next video. 